Yo, what is up, guys? My name is OJ Kernchen, and today, so the NBA Conference Finals are here. I'm gonna do my predictions. Now, last predictions, I went two for two. Um, the two upsets were um, Bucks and Suns. They did horrible. Um, yeah. But besides that. Do my predictions to date conference finals. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. And yeah, and also turn on notifications. Alright, so for the first game you got the Heat taking on the Celtics. Now this is gonna be real a really good series. I cannot lie. This will be one of the best. This is going to be a good series. Jason Tatum versus Jimmy Butler. That's going to be a good, good matchup. That's a good matchup. That is a good matchup. Hold on. Alright, that should be better. So can y'all see my whole head? Alright, so, so yeah, you get the Heat versus the Celtics. Jason Tatum versus Jimmy Butler. Um, I'm trying to go 2-0 for the series. Right, two zero for the, like, the conference finals. So I'm gonna go with the team that a lot of people don't think will win. I'm going with the Boston Celtics. I think like they're the underdog, the team, the team. Like I said, the team that nobody thinks will win. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna go with the Boston Celtics beating the Miami Heat. I think. I think that would be. I think that. I mean, like, I feel like you could agree with me. I feel like you could agree with me, but yeah. So, um, so Boston Celtics, I'm going with y'all. Yeah. Also, because I want my boyfriend Philip to be mad and sad. All right. So for the last and final matchup, you got the Golden State Warriors versus the Dallas Mavericks. This is a this is good. This is a good matchup. This is a good matchup. Seth Curry, two top two point guards, Curry and Luca. Yes, Luca is a top. Is the second best point guard in the NBA. He is. He is. So, um, I'm a so, yeah. Because also, the Mavericks don't have like a lot of big men. The um, this is who the Warriors have. Um, Seth Curry, Clay Thompson. Andrew Wiggins, Kevon Looney, Jordan. Golden State Warriors Colin also Adams, have Draymond Green. Bronson, Dinwiddie, Luca. The rest are nobodies. So, yeah, that being said, I'm going to go with the Golden State Warriors being the Dallas Mavericks. So, the matchup will be hopefully be the Golden State Warriors versus the Boston Celtics. I will do my NBA final prediction when this, those two series are over. Um, so yeah. All right, before I go to my outro, I gotta say one thing. The Phoenix Suns. Yeah, and I think y'all know where this is going with. No, I think I know where I'm going with this. The Suns are overrated. The Phoenix Suns are the most overrated team in the NBA. I say this. I say this. Because, one, you guys had the best record in the NBA this whole season. Y'all you know, had 68 wins. Okay? 68 wins. That's really good. I think 18 losses. I don't even remember. But y'all had the best record in the NBA. Yo, you guys were the best team in the NBA this year. But y'all get demolished. Y'all lose 33. Y'all lose by 33 points to the Dallas Mavericks game seven. And you guys were fully healthy. And you guys had home court advantage. Home court advantage is good. It helps. But it didn't help the Phoenix Suns. But you guys have Chris Paul, DeAndre Aiden, Devin Booker, Jay Crowder, JaVale McGee. Y'all big men, but y'all can't win. Y'all cannot. Bro, y'all had to, Bro, Chris Paul is a top 15 point guard. He's a top 10. Top 10. Bro, y'all are. Okay. Chris Paul is a top point guard.
point guard. He's good. He's elite. Devin Booker is top 10 point guard. He is elite as well. You guys have big men, but y'all can't win. What is the problem? You have to fully help me. Like, home court advantage. Good elite players. But y'all can't win a ring. Y'all had Charles Barkley, one of the best all-time players, couldn't win a ring with him. Y'all are the most overrated team in the NBA. I'm not lying. You, the Phoenix, clip this and send this to a Phoenix Suns fan. Phoenix, the Phoenix Suns are the most overrated team in the NBA. I said it there. Clip it. Send that to a Suns fan. I don't care. The Phoenix Suns are the most overrated team in the NBA. They are. They are. They are. Alright, so I had to say that, you know. But besides that, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. Get your boy to 70 subs. And you turn on notifications. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.